Here at the Orange County Sheriff's Office, we do a lot of really cool things, but maybe one of the coolest things is the pit maneuver. Well, today we're teaching the deputies how to use the pursuit intervention technique, otherwise known as the pit. The reason that we have to train our deputies on how to do this is simply because if we're going to use a technique, especially involving vehicles that are going to touch one another at some high speeds, we need to make sure they're properly trained. The technique is used whenever you're in pursuit of a vehicle, you'll have the number one car or the deputy behind him. If he sees an opportunity where it's safe to use this technique, they'll come up to one side of the car or another. They'll come up parallel to the car, come up just a bit. Their front fender will touch the rear fender of the other car and then they'll simply push the rear end of the other car so it starts to turn. And then it'll effectively stall the car or stop the car from continuing on. Our deputies train on this repeatedly because if it happens in real life, there's only one chance at doing it right. Anything that we're allowed to pursue for, we can use the pit intervention technique for. So for example, a forcible felony such as manslaughter, kidnapping, a sexual battery, if we can pursue, we can use this technique. Well, this is supposed to be done when you have more than one deputy present. So the other deputies who are not engaged in the actual technique will be the ones that tactically park the car or stop the car from moving any further. We do that by putting one car in front, one car behind, and then we have other cars that are there, other deputies giving commands. So they didn't let me drive the car, but I did get to ride along, and that's probably the closest I'll ever get to a pit maneuver. I'm John Bustecker with the Orange County Sheriff's Office.